So you probably clicked on this video because you wanna learn how to make better thumbnails in an easy, simple, no stress way. Well, today we're gonna go over exactly how to do that. I'm gonna be sharing with you what my creative director shared with me on the simplest, easiest way to make thumbnails that look great and that don't take a ton of extra time. So if that sounds good, let's dive in. So a good exercise before getting in this, which I think is just important for you to know your baseline is to go to your YouTube studio, then go to the analytics section and go to advanced mode. And then you can see there, you can see your click through rate based on impressions, right? So how many people click through to the video out of all people who have seen your video. So check that number out. Ideally, we want that number to be in between seven and 10%. Now really good YouTubers are gonna have that number way, way higher. So it's gonna be anywhere from maybe 18 to 20%. But if you're below that seven to 10% mark, then this is gonna be a helpful video for you to make better thumbnails. And full disclosure, I am trying to get my thumbnail and click through rate up too. So I'm trying to improve my own game here. I'm not saying this like as an expert. So what my creative director shared with me the other day in a meeting was what he does with some of his other private clients and what he does for his own YouTube videos. Now, granted, my creative director is a, <laughs> a pretty impressive singer, songwriter, and uh, all around uh, musician. Um, so I trust him when he shares really good information with me for getting more views and getting more people to click on stuff that you want them to click on. So if you're gonna make a YouTube video, let's just say I'm making this YouTube video and I'm, before I go and make the YouTube video, I want some thumbnail shots that my team can click out. What you wanna do is just take some really simple still shots. So you're gonna press play on the video, all right? Let it run. And then you're just gonna do some crazy shots where you're just gonna stay still for a couple seconds. So for example, maybe I wanna point to something and I want that to be my thumbnail. So let's just say I do this. I'm just gonna freeze for like three seconds awkwardly on the on the camera like that, all right? You can do a couple of them. Maybe I'm gonna point to this. All that's all I'm doing. So before you shoot your videos, all you need to do is do that. Like maybe take five or six of them, different things. Maybe I'm pointing to the microphone. Maybe I'm like this, like, I can't believe he just did that. Whatever it is that makes sense for the video you're about to shoot, do those facial expressions. I would do five or six of them again. And that way your team can test them, all right? Or if you're working with us at Top 10 Podcast, we can test them with you. And we can have some different shots and different looks for you to actually use. That is the simplest way to do it. But again, I, I super highly recommend you go and look at your analytics and seeing what the click-through rate is on your current videos. Then you can also find the best performing ones. And then you could actually say with data like, hey, these work better than other my other ones, all right? So super important, check that out. Go to your YouTube studio and see what's working. But once you've done that, start to create these video, these simple like still shots. Again, press play on your phone. I'm using my iPhone right now. Literally just have this video rolling. And if I wanted to make a video or a YouTube thumbnail that's, that's you know, contextually the same as what you're gonna see on the video, that is super easy to do. All I'm gonna do is just freeze like for a couple of seconds and that's the video, that's the YouTube thumbnail that my team can then clip out and simply use for this video or other videos too. It doesn't have to be just this video, right? Maybe if I wanted to grab something off my shelf and I wanted to share this book, right? This would be a great thumbnail. I can just go like this, like, and share what the book is. And then my team can maybe blur it over. Maybe we can swap the cover out for a different book if I don't have the book here. All kinds of things we can do with this, right? So hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was super simple. Hope you actually use that. Go and start making better thumbnails. Check your click-through rate. Again, seven to 10% is where you wanna be. The really good YouTubers, if you wanna go higher than that, like try and aim for 18 to 20%. Obviously the higher, the better. It means more people are gonna to listen to your stuff and, and watch your stuff. And the more viewers and subscribers you're likely gonna get. So that's it, enjoy. Post comments below if you have another strategy or tip or thing that you do to get really good click rates, click through rates on your videos. I want to hear about it because I'm learning this. I'm on this journey as well, just like you are. So always love to learn and I'll catch you later.